This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go. Concord, New Hampshire on uh, May 29th, 2013, and you folks are here to... We, we are here protesting the New Hampshire Senate's move to reject federal dollars for Medicaid. Uh, and it's not going to cost the state of New Hampshire any money. So the money comes from where exactly? It comes from Washington. Well, what does that mean? Where, who, means where does Washington get the money? Uh, from our tax dollars. In other words, so it does come from New Hampshire. We have already paid the taxes for this money. If we if we get this Tea Party attitude that we're we're going to keep rejecting federal money, uh, New Hampshire becomes a donor state. We become one of those states that sends more money to Washington than we get back. And we already are that. Uh, even more so. Yeah, it would be more so. Unlike How states like Texas, take a look at their balance sheet. They they get all kinds of federal money, and then they make noise about how they you don't. You want to be more like them? Yeah, we don't want to. I don't want to be more like Texas. Well, Texas is a, a, a kind of, you know a, a state that receives a lot of money from the federal government. Isn't that a bad thing? Yes. I mean, there's in the sense nice, that it's stolen property. Yeah, there's some nice people in Texas, but I. I believe one of the biggest mistakes Abraham Lincoln ever made was forcing Texas to come back in the Union. Well, now we're, we're in agreement on that point. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I mean I've, I actually spent a lot of time in Texas, but I mean, no state should ever be forced to, to be in any Union. You know. But I guess the one, one question I have is, is if, if we're going to be uh, doing something that more closely associates us with Washington, I mean, those the Washington, those people, they, they torture people. Do we want to be closer to Washington? Well, that's a, you're not just talking about a single entity. I mean, you're, you're, this is a huge country where, what, 350 million people, something like that. Well, we've, we've got a pretty big federal government. The people who are doing the torturing at Guantanamo uh, aren't the same people who are working in Health and Human Services or, or anything like that. They're, mm -hmm. they're different different uh, entities. Well, aren't you kind of, you're kind of making my point for me, though. You just said it's a very big federal government. You want to make it bigger? Um, well, look at the size of corporations. I mean, take your pick. Exxon, Mobil, go on down the line. Okay, well, you understand this is private property, right? The sidewalk here is private property? Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's not public property? Yeah. It's public access, but it's private property. Oh, that's, that's weird. I thought it was public yeah. property. Where does the public property end? That? Where does the public or where does the private property end? On the street, I imagine. So. Um, if memory serves, I believe you have have to have a permit to demonstrate. You get small government. Maybe I could live with small government if if the business world were only mom and pop businesses, or maybe nothing bigger than a state enterprise. Mm -hmm. but, uh, the the corporate America is, is not just the country; it's international, and that's our only protection. So I think I think big government is going to be necessary as long as we've got big business and uh, humongous capital. Okay, well, can't say I agree with all of what you're saying, but you put it well. Yeah. I appreciate your time. Yeah, who, you, who are you? Uh, uh, Dave Ridley with RidleyReport.com. It's like a poor man's TV station. I, uh, I guess I'm, it's New Hampshire's number two YouTube channel now. This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go. Some call it the best site to create a free online Bitcoin wallet. They have apps for Android and iPhone. Plus, get this. Blockchain lets the encryption for your account happen inside your browser. That way even the site's owner can't access the account. It's just for you. Blockchain.info. 
It's a great place for Bitcoins to go.